Morning guys, welcome to Thursday the 13th of February It's the calm after the storm and before the next storm <laughs> So the wind's completely dropped off now, there's just a lovely little breeze um, after yesterday's howling winds in the previous three days uh, We have had a hell of a rainstorm last night as well which hasn't been too good We'll get to that in a minute um, so a bit of housekeeping first, because I keep forgetting to do all this. Um, thank you very much to the guys that told me about those wheels and the axles being maybe the wrong way around on that rotor rake. It does seem to be that they have actually spun them round when they delivered it. So there's a broken at the top there somewhere on the axle, which I think I need to take out and just spin the whole hub round. And hopefully that'll cure that. I have been rebuilding that rotor. Uh, there's one little bearing I couldn't find on the bearing website and the company that supplies bearings um, so I might have to go back to the people I bought it from as they can get parts supposedly for this for this fella rake and um, see what they can do um, but yeah hopefully it should be back together fairly soon um, it's just a bit of technicals trying to get it back together because I had to build it the wrong way around so I've got big heavy lumps but anyway I'll show you that at some point so yeah, that's number one. Uh, number two is Farmer P and HSAG have both mentioned this YouTube channel, um, and I keep meaning to mention him because I really do enjoy his work. His, work. his uh, videos are pretty damn good. So shout out to uh, Four Winds Farm. If you uh, if you'd like, go and check him out. I'll try and put a link in bottom if I can remember. Um, but yeah, it's a really good channel. I really enjoy it, especially his little conventional baling stuff. I'm a bit of a geek for that at the moment. <laughs> so, but yeah. Um, so yeah, what we wanted today is basically clear up job. So the river's gone down quite well. We're back now, getting towards what you've seen before in flooding wise. So the far hay fields underwater still. Um, but it's pretty much dropped rivers back into its banks, it just has to drain everywhere else out now. Uh, so I'm basically going around at the moment just clearing out the drains uh, fully now because there's bits of debris in the ends of them uh, just to try and help get its water going because we had a hell of a rainstorm last night it woke me up at about four o'clock this morning absolutely lashing against the window with the wind so yeah it's uh, it's very wet, as you can probably see on the ground here. It's just stood yet again. Um, we are actually in a deer park at the moment. This is the one that I mole ploughed two, three weeks ago. Um, <coughs> so, might as well just have a quick look where we're here. I'll show you how much water is actually flowing. This is the drain that I pulled through at the beginning with the mole plough. So there's a pipe that runs from there, right under that wood, and into the pond. Uh, I put that in, must be about seven or eight years ago. So we constantly had a big puddle here, and it used to try and get across. Uh, there is actually a road under here, that's, well, hard under here. But over time it's just covered up. So yeah, there's all this flowing down. This is I've never seen as much water flowing like this, on this bit. You can just see it running down here. So whether or not the mole plowing's actually worked, I can't particularly tell because there is that much water in now. It's ridiculous. Um, the horses are poached up the fields that they were put out in when it was flooded as well. So you can't really tell with them, but they're just a, a trashed mess. <laughs> so yeah. Um, so this is one of the ones that I did through here. You can just see the slit still. I have no idea if that's running still. Let me come back a bit. Right down there. Um, I know a mate, thank you very much Simon. He'll be watching. <laughs> uh, my mate actually did ring us and say that I need to put the the bullets on the end of the mole when I'm doing it. But, uh, it was just a test trial. As it's uh, livery horses as well. I didn't particularly want to put a big hole in the floor and make a mess. And, them doing, them doing something stupid like breaking a leg on it which well they could do but anyway 
Um, so yeah, water's still back in here. Really could do with going back through it all again, I think, and putting that bullet on. But uh, yeah, hasn't made too much damage. I'm quite happy with the slitting that's there. Let's see if it's actually running. Yeah, it's running a little bit. Oh, I forgot to show you. It's running a little bit. So yeah, um, also have to apologise for my videos over the last couple of days. They're as rubbish as normal, but they're a bit random. <laughs> um, so, as you've probably seen, we've had a few car outs at the beginning of this week. For a couple of trees, so the planned week went all pear-shipped. And uh, yeah, I ended up getting caught out for a couple of big trees coming down, which is uh, always kind of fun. But that's what I could have done with my mog back again, <laughs> my, my mogging trailer. Um, right, so this is another slit you can just see outside edge of it down here, and that one's flowing quite happily. That looks of it. So that's working as well. This was the first one I did. I ended up double cutting it because I wasn't happy with first drag through. And yeah, that was not really doing very much, to be fair. So I might have to try and come back through at some point and drag this through. The mole power is only like a, an inch and a half, two inch bore on it. Whereas the bullet at the end's like a four, three or four inch. That'd make a better hole. Uh, I also did one over there, but I can't bother walking over. <laughs> and I think that's probably sealed back up again as well. So, yeah, that's about it for today. I should go and start probably dragging stuff off the fence lines right down by the river because there's a lot of debris that's got caught up in it before Dennis the Menace turns up. So I shall leave it there guys, and I'll catch you later. Have a good one. Cheers. Bye.